Hey, this is Aid from aiddrums.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter MIDI note data into Presona Studio One using your laptop keyboard. This can be really handy if you're traveling or something like that. You have your laptop, but you don't have an external MIDI device with you, such as your MIDI keyboard connected to it. This method does at least give you a way of entering MIDI note data. Alternatively, you can enter MIDI note data by going into the piano roll and penciling in individual notes. But sometimes we want to actually play something, at least having access to some means of doing so uh, via a keyboard is very useful. Uh, do bear in mind it's a little bit limited, you only have access to one octave at a time, uh, but maybe for entering things like drum loops and things like that, or building drum loops, it could be a handy way of working. A couple of things we need to do to set it up. Firstly, go to Studio One Preferences, open the Preferences, then go to External Devices, and then click Add. You have a list of possible external devices, Scroll down till you find the Presonus folder, and then within that you'll see QWERTY keyboard. Select that, and now on the right hand side it is selected, waiting to be loaded. There are two options here, split channels and default instrument input. I always leave these unchecked. Then click OK. Now you'll see the QWERTY keyboard in your list of external devices ready to go. So to save that and to move on, just click OK to close the preferences. Now let's have a go at using it. So I'm going to create an instrument track. I shall call it MIDI, select instrument. Then for the input, select the QWERTY keyboard. And for the output, select the instrument you want to use. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to select the AU MIDI synth, then click OK. Next thing we need to do is we need to configure whichever instrument we've selected, in my case the AU MIDI synth. We need to configure it to accept its MIDI note input data from the QWERTY keyboard device we set up earlier in Preferences. So to do that, click the instrument icon in the track header. And then in the uh, instrument interface, look for the little cogwheel icon and click that to open the control sub-panel, and then click the little down arrow and select QWERTY Keyboard. And now we have the external device QWERTY Keyboard interface available to us. I'm going to pin that so it stays on top and I'll close the synth. So let's have a look at the interface. So here we have a visual representation of one octave of a piano keyboard. The white notes being the QWERTY keys, these ones specifically and the black notes being these number keys, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 7. As I said earlier, there is a limitation. We can only play one octave at a time, but we can move between octaves in one of two ways, either via the interface clicking this button here and scrolling through the octaves and selecting which octave we want to work with, or we can use our laptop's right and left arrow keys to scroll through the octaves. Here I'm using my trackpad and I'm working directly on the interface, but of course I could just do it from my keyboard, which is what I'm doing now. We also have a sustain key, which in the case of my MacBook appears to be the tab right key on the left hand side of the keyboard. Something to bear in mind is there is no velocity sensitivity when you are keying in notes via your laptop keyboard. So to set the velocity, we use this control here, which by default is set at 80%, but can go up to obviously 100% or down to any value to zero as you like. I'm going to leave it at around 80 to 90%. So now let's record something to see it in action. I have a metronome set up. I have a pre-count of one measure. If I open the record panel, I have input quantize set to on. I have noticed in testing that there is some latency, at least on my MacBook, between clicking the keys on the keyboard and actually getting the note registered. I mean, it's a small latency, but using input quantize eliminates that and makes the whole process smoother. So now let's hit record and record something.
There we go, we now have a MIDI event with MIDI note data in it. If we open the edit screen, move that out of the way, we can see the notes that I've recorded. As mentioned earlier, they all have exactly the same velocity because that velocity was set by this parameter here. If I want to, I can go into each individual note here in the piano roll and edit the velocity, note position, length, whatever else I want to edit. But at least I now have some raw material I can work with in more detail later on. So that's it. I hope you've found this video useful. If you have, please click like and consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching.